What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. News alert, the Anabars are dropping on March 19th at midnight. Set them watches and mark those calendars because I guarantee they're gonna be gone pretty quick. So don't be mad at me if you want a box and you don't get a box because you slept in. So be on the lookout, baby. Coming soon. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume you know what anabolic French toast is. Eaten by legends across the world. Greg Doucette, Will Tennyson, Jesse James West. I even heard Remington James has it too. But today, guys, we're gonna take that classic French toast toast recipe and kick it up a notch. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic French toast sausage roll-ups. Everything you love about classic French toast, except we stuffed some meat inside. If you've been sitting around eating your French toast and you've been thinking, hmm, the only thing this is missing is some meat shoved up inside, then look no further than this video, because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if you got that RJF anabolic cookbook, baby, it has been updated. Now this recipe is in there, along with every other one of my anabolic recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, you name it. If you've been following diets that are not sustainable, you're not enjoying what you're doing, then you're doing it wrong. If you wanna eat like a king, still make gains and stay lean, then maybe having this in your pocket couldn't hurt. Hit that link in my description, you get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. Now, if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Step one, we need to get ourselves some plain white bread. I'm using that Nature Zone butter bread, 60 calories a slice, love it. So we got our six slices here and what we actually wanna do is go in one slice at a time and cut that crust off the outside. Not only is that gonna lower the calorie of every slice, it's gonna turn these six slices of bread nutritionally from six down to four. Just weigh the crust afterwards and you'll believe me. And once we have our crustless piece of bread, I'm just gonna go with my hand and press down on it to flatten it out a bit. And voila, we got one slice ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the rest of them. Now that our bread's ready to go, we're gonna go ahead and make an egg wash. I'm gonna start with 92 grams of egg beaters. You can use liquid egg whites if you'd like. Then I'm also gonna toss in about a gram of cinnamon and a gram of zero calorie sweetener. Then we'll just go in with a whisk and give them a quick spin. And at this point, we're almost done. What we're gonna do now is grab six pre-cooked turkey sausage links. I'm using Jimmy Dean's Heat and Serve brand. And all we're gonna do is toss these on a plate and then pop them in the microwave for about 60 to 90 seconds until they're heated up and ready to go. And bingo, turkey sausage ready to go. All I'm gonna do is grab one of my links, put it right at the end, take my bread, roll that sucker up, and then once I have it, I wanna hold it by the seam because we're gonna lock that in when we cook it. Now, I'm gonna dip it down here in our egg wash, roll it around a little bit, make sure she gets a nice coating. And then once she's looking good, I'm gonna take it over to a large skillet that I've preheated to medium heat and sit it in here, seam side down. And I'm gonna do that with the rest of our roll ups. And after about a minute or two, you can go in and rotate your roll up. And look at that, we got that crispy French toast exterior. That seam is now locked in. So all I'm gonna do is slowly go in and rotate them all to the opposite side and then keep flipping them until all four sides are done and the entire thing is crispy. And after just a few more minutes of cooking, we got all the sides browned and we have ourselves a nice, delicious anabolic breakfast. The only thing in my opinion that it's missing is a little bit of that Miss Buttersworth sugar-free syrup. Oh man, just let her drizzle on down. Don't be scared of a go woman. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic French toast sausage roll-ups. Not only do we get all the deliciousness of anabolic French toast, but we get to add some sausage down in the middle, which makes this one truly a delicacy. If you made it this far into the video, guys, please smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below, anything at all. It's gonna help that algorithm. I know I ask you guys that a lot lately, but um, even just anything down there, an emoji, a period, your high school bully, whoever, comment something, it's gonna help. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's Let's go.
All right, man, it's go time. But first, gallon check, 1 p.m., almost halfway through. I've had better days, but not too bad. This will be easy to finish off because it tastes good. And that's because I got two scoops of Final Boss Performance Sour Moon Rock Aminos right in here. Flavors of the whole thing gives me aminos. I, I generally feel better when I'm drinking more water. And the aminos, I mean, you can say what you want about aminos, but they're doing something. They're doing something. So if you're having trouble, check it out. FinalBossPerformance.com. Code RGF10 saves you 10%. And that same code, same website's going to work when the Anabars drop on March 19th. Mark those calendars. Set a reminder. If you got an iPhone, they got an app for it. Quit forgetting things. Set a reminder. It's going to remind you. All right, let's get down to business, baby. I'm just going to stab one of these guys right here. Check me out. We got French toast all the way around. We got that syrup, that delicate little sausage inside. Going to be great. Three, two, one. Oh my goodness. This is the type of breakfast where if you just had like a mountain of these, it almost tastes like candy. Cause you got the maple syrup, you got like the maple turkey sausage in there, that soft outer French toast. I mean, it's, you just, you wouldn't stop eating to be honest. Oh my goodness. I mean, seriously, this is one of them breakfasts. If you just made it exactly like I did it right and you didn't tell anybody that it was healthy, that it was better for them, higher in protein, all that nonsense. And you just said, hey, try this breakfast I made for you. And you gave it to them. They'd eat it and tell you it was like one of the best things they ever had for real. Which ultimately that's the goal of a good diet. A diet that you don't feel like you're even trying on. You don't feel like you're ever deprived. You're not looking at the guy next to you as breakfast who's eating whatever he wants and you're not really jealous because you're eating good. You just know what you're putting in your body is doing good for you. Makes sense? And that brand of turkey sausage I'm using, freaking incredible. You should be able to find that at almost any grocery store. That's what I try to do with these recipes, right? I don't want a lot of people having to order things online, doing things like that. I want you to be able to go to your local store, be able to pick ingredients that are already there. So you just add it to your shopping list. If you get a, on a whim, you want to make one of these recipes, you can go to the store and there's a 99% chance what I used in my recipe and what I use in my cooking book is gonna be there. Practical dieting for practical people. Now M, this entire recipe, if you made all six of these exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 546 calories, 18 grams of fat, 44 grams of protein, 52 grams of carbs, or grams of fiber. For me, that's perfect. 44 grams of protein, I get a delicious, sweet, satisfying breakfast that's gonna fill me up. And there's meat. I mean, when there's meat stuffed in something, you're never gonna see me object. Oh, and you just, you just swim it around in that sugar-free syrup. No Fs given, just dip, Dab, mm. and we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, this right here, this is a real deal. This is a 10 out of 10, no matter what. Everything about it, flawlessly executed. You gotta try this one. You gotta tag me on Instagram. If you like sausage, you like French toast, you like some syrup, I mean, it, this one just, it, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. And don't forget, if you got the RJF Anabolic Cookbook, go get your updated copy, because this one is now in there. You're looking for meal ideas, you wanna keep things healthier, but you don't wanna sacrifice on flavor, you want more filling foods that are loaded down with protein that are gonna help you make those results, and check it out, man. Man, I'm telling you, link in my description. It's basically my entire channel, every recipe broken down in an easy to use guide if it's right in your pocket. You won't regret it. Appreciate you guys as always for checking the channel out. It means a lot. Smash that thumbs up button for me. Comment anything down below. Once again, that algorithm, she's a real stickler. So y'all doing that helps me a ton. Subscriptions help too. So subscribe if you're just watching my videos and you're not subscribed, which a high percentage of people do. Just hit that button, baby. If you're already watching, just hit that button. <laughs> it helps. And don't forget, we got the Anabars dropping March 19th. Mark those calendars, set a reminder. We're gonna sell out quick. I know it, and the best flavor is not even here yet, the white chocolate Oreo. It'll be here for launch. I don't even got my hands on it yet, so I'm gonna try to give you guys a sneak peek, so make sure you're following me on social media if you wanna see what those ones are all about, but they're all freaking amazing. You're gonna love them, my guarantee. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. Ooh, we ain't gonna leave none of this syrup behind. Hmm. Ooh.